The 2009 men's singles final was the third time that Switzerland's Roger Federer and Andy Roddick from the United States had met to decide who would be crowned Wimbledon champion. In 2004 and 2005, Federer had come out on top and he led Roddick by a resounding 18 wins to two in their head-to-head -head record. Federer was looking to win his 15th major title and overtake Pete Sampras's illustrious record. But it was Roddick who started confidently, taking the first set 7-5. We join the action in the second set tiebreak. Your commentators, Andrew Castle, Boris Becker and Tim Henman. That is an adrenalised 143 miles an hour. A perfect start to the tiebreak for Roddick, whose record is 26 tiebreak victories this year to four losses. That is amazing. This is head to head here. Oh. No. We have as many break for Roddick. Every point can't double in the tiebreaker. It's over at seven. Two one Roddick. Roddick's on his way to the chair. Federer has challenged this. If the ace is called good, and Hawkeye sees it that way, it would be a big lead in this tie break, and it is in. Back edge. Four, one. Goodness Roddy. me. Federer has three challenges remaining. Might have three challenges remaining, but he might only have three points left in this tiebreak, the way Roddick's playing. There's one thing having a game plan, there's another thing executing it. And right now, Roddick is playing some fantastic tennis, and what an opportunity he has right now in this second set tiebreak. Roddick will take all the time in the world now to get ready and really focus on the very next serve. He needs it. Roddick has four set points. Six, 
Roddy. Well, just a flash of brilliance from the racket of Roger Federer. The control on this backhand was beautiful to watch. It keeps him in the tiebreak. If he wins the next two points on his own service game, well, that's going to be a big point at 5-6. First things first, Federer to serve the next two points. That's one. Six four, Roddick. Feeling the tension, this lady. Six five, Roddick. needs to regroup now that was a body blow I can only really think on that volley that it was a miss hit from Federer and slight hesitation from Roddick oh my god and fate may be on his side a remarkable comeback from four set points down Thank now you. Federer with one of his own six points in a row but to win them from six two down in the tie break wow that was uh, probably the passage of play that will decide the champion of Wimbledon this year so Federer leveled the match at one set all as we pick up the action in the third set it's gone down to the wire again six games all and another tie break danger here for Federer is as he challenges that first serve that there's a weight you lose your rhythm between the first and second serve so if he's wrong there will have been a bit of a weight he is wrong second serve
yards long. One on. Clever shot for this from Federer because Roddick really doesn't have too many options apart from to come to the net and I think in the tight moments you really want to be playing with your strengths and the one-handed slice backhand is not really one of Roddick's favourite shots. hand-eye coordination the little adjustments that Federer makes staying down with the ball it wasn't exactly where he thought it was going to be magnificent Come on. four one Federer but a scream after the point you can sense how High strung Federer is right now. He really needs this tie break. Five one Federer. Federer is very much the boss of this tie break. Of course, Andy Roddick was the boss in the second set tie break until he lost it. But one senses difficult times now. For Roddick, who bravely has maintained his composure, but this tiebreak may be gone. Same stage in second set tiebreaker. Roddick had him 5 2. <laughs> Do we see another comeback? 5 3, Federer. his cheeks out that was a cheeky little drop shot he played in there and he didn't have much of a target with the forehand at the end but just enough of a target to bring him three set points for a two sets to one lead Roddick will serve the next two points This is a little piece of personal sport for Federer. I think he probably thinks it was in, but before his ball landed out, he did say challenge. Is it set or is it 4 6? We're still playing. Still playing. 6 4, Federer. And how will Federer feel if he has to serve at 6 5?
Here we go again. 6-5, Federer. Federer has two challenges remaining. Now I'll press on Federer. Seven games to six. Federer leads by two sets to one. Well, he's closing in on what he so desires, which is that 15th Grand Slam victory and a sixth Wimbledon that would break a tie with Borg. It took willpower to get through that. He was nervous. Despite not having lost his serve in the match, Roddick trailed by two sets to one. But he bounced back to win the fourth set, 6-3. And it's eight games all in the decider as we rejoin the action. Now you get greedy, you want both of the first two points in a game. Give himself love 30. All oh, credit to Roddick, he has hustled from the first point up until eight all in, in the fifth. Another half chance. Oh, yes! What a strike! Well, this is blemish-free play from Federer under the greatest of stress. Two first serves in a row and the courage to drive that volley away. Back to Juice. With neither man willing to give ground, the match was now a test of endurance as much as skill. The games continue to go with serve. We pick it up again in game 30, Roddick serving at 14-15. He served to stay in the match at 4-5, 5-6, 6-7, etc. And here we are at 14-15. I think it's those type of shots, Boris, where he's, he's got to make the fine adjustments with his feet that perhaps he's struggling a little bit with. And you know what? It's understandable after four hours, 13 minutes. Love 30. Federer closing in. Love 
13. Better get your cameras at the ready in the front row. He just won't go away. Keeps coming up with the big serves when he needs them. And Andy Roddick is really struggling physically right now. Is this? Are these the last punches from Andy Ruddy? He's thrown everything, and still the opponent won't go away. Federer hanging in in this game, waiting for a half chance. Of a former champion. Match point. Please. A phenomenal performance from Roger Federer, who'd overtaken the record of the watching Pete Sampras by securing a 15th Grand Slam title. Heartbreak for Andy Roddick, who over four hours and 17 minutes and a record 77 games for a major final pushed his opponent to the limit. Remarkably, the vanquished Roddick lost his serve only once in the entire match. men's singles champion for 2009, Roger Federer. In 2009, on the lawns of SW19, Federer had rewritten the history books. Having won his first French Open title a few weeks earlier, many now considered him the greatest player of all time. I became number one in the world by winning this title because this is the biggest one there is out there. And, um, you know, I love playing here, so thanks very much for all your support, guys. They're unbelievable. 
It was an unbelievable performance from an unbelievable champion. A crowning moment for Roger Federer in his glittering career.